Hi, Amy of Fashion Tappings here. We're gonna go ahead and start on the skirt from the thrift haul video. And as you can see, this thing is really short. Um, it's fine when I'm standing up, but there's no way possible I'm sitting down on this thing. It is that short. So I'm taking the white gauzy uh, skirt that I got also on my last thrift haul video, and I'm going to add some length to the skirt so I actually can wear it because the, the skirt fits just right. I don't have to alter it at all, but I want it to be a little bit longer. So what I'm doing is taking one of the white gauze skirts, and as you can see, it already has a line for me to cut. So I'm gonna be adding this bottom ruffle or the bottom part of the skirt. I'm gonna add it to the bottom part of the skirt. So you can kind of envision what it's gonna look like. As you can see, I'm just gonna add one layer of ruffle on the bottom just to give it some length. And it'd be so cute with uh, a brown leather belt, kind of westerly looking belt and um, a white t-shirt or any type of t-shirt, a vintage t-shirt. This skirt just has so many possibilities, I'm excited. First thing I'm gonna need to do, I'm gonna cut along the bottom of the skirt right at, right above its hemline. Because it's been surged on the inside. Um, each layer of these little ruffles have been surged. So I'm gonna cut right above that so that I can keep that surge edge and then I don't have to worry so much about fraying because I'm actually gonna put it behind. So let's get started on the skirt. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that bottom layer off of, the, off of the skirt, so you can see how long it is, right above its current stitch mark so that I can save it from fraying. I'll do that and I'll be right back. And normally you would lay yours on the ground and you can put your ruffle on laying on the ground, but for the sake of the video, I have it on my mannequin so you can see what I'm doing. Then I take the bottom of my skirt that I just cut off this is approximately, you can see, it's, full, it's two layers because it's a complete circle. I just cut off the bottom of the dress. You can see that it's actually twice the length, because see, it's, it's folded in half. It's twice the length of the bottom of your skirt. So if you don't have a skirt where you can cut the ruffle off the bottom to attach to here, uh, basically just take the material that you purchase and make sure it's twice the distance around the bottom hem of your skirt. So you would measure the bottom hem of your skirt and multiply it by two, and that's how long you would need as far as material. You can go longer, it, this means you have to ruffle more, but um, this is exactly twice the length around the bottom of the skirt. Then I'm gonna take my, my skirt, right now it's one piece, it's a giant circle, see? It's a giant circle. I'm gonna take my piece, my two side seams, and then I'm going to fold it in half so I can find the center. And I marked it. So I'm using these little clips and that's marking the center of my skirt. Because I have my side seams here on both, both pieces. I got my side seams and now I have the center so we can match it up onto our skirt. So right now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is gonna pin all four locations. Because I have my front seam, which would be my center. And then I have side seam, back seam, which would be my other clip, and a side seam. So four locations. This is so we can make sure that our material is evenly distributed around our skirt. I'm going to go ahead and attach my center of my ruffle to the center of the front of my skirt. Now pay attention, our skirt is inside out. So we should be looking at the wrong side of our ruffle. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my center location and pin it to my center seam of my skirt. I'm pinning right above, just right above the hemline because that hemline is gonna be so thick to sew through. Um, I'm pinning just slightly above the hemline. So I marked my front center, I have it pinned. Now find my side seam and attach my side seam just above, just above the hem. Now my back seam, which is, that's where I had, I had marked it. My back seam. Which is kind of hard to get through this denim. There we go, back seam. And now find my side seam of my ruffle. 
and attach it to the side seam of the skirt. Simple as that. See all that drooping material? Well, we're not leaving it that way, that's for sure. Now it's time to do our ruffles. Pay attention to which direction you're going to be, that you're going with your ruffles. So you're just going to take your material, pinch it a little bit, and I'm actually going to have my ruffles go in this direction. Pinch it and pin it into place. Because we're going we're gonna to uh, we're gonna pinch little pleats in here, our little ruffle pleats, until we use up all of our material from front center to the side seam. So all that drooping material will be pinned up. So as you can see, are you starting to see the ruffling? Slightly above the hemline is where I'm pinning. I'm trying to stay as straight as I can. You can already see how it's going to start to look. One last pleat to tighten that material up. I don't know if you can hear that buzzer, but my chicken's done. <laughs> cooking dinner at the same time as I'm doing this. It's called multitasking. Okay, so as you can see, you can already see the, the effect right now. So I pinned from front center, pleating my, my material as I went, pinning right above the hemline, all the way to the side seam. Now I'm going to do the front, the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and keep folding, because as you can hear, my Chicken is ready, so I need to go and get stuff off the out of the oven. And then I'm going to continue to keep pinning all the way around the dress to get it all pinned. So I'm going to check my chicken, and then I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I have my skirt inside right. I have my needle lined up with the hem stitching on my skirt. I switched to a jean needle. Make sure that you have a, a, a needle in there strong enough to go through denim. That's a must, otherwise you're gonna break a needle or you're not gonna have very good stitching. So, and I'm gonna pull my needles out from underneath as I go, because I can see them through the material. So, I'm gonna go ahead with the straight stitch. I'm gonna remove the next needle. Holding it so I don't lose my pleat. And I'm gonna keep stitching right on top of the brown, coming up to another needle, pull the needle out, continuing to stitch right along that, and you can't even see, you can see right here, you can't even see where the new stitch is and where the previous stitch was, because I'm using the exact same color thread. And keep doing that all the way around the skirt. Here's the skirt. Here's the finished product. Put my ruffle at the bottom. As you can see how short it was before, at least now it's an acceptable length for me. So it was very simple. All I did is I took the bottom ruffle off one of my thrift store gauze skirts, uh, folded and pleated it on the inside of the skirt right along the hemline, and did a straight stitch on the outside, the right side of the material. I did a straight stitch through the hem and it attached it to the white ruffle, and that was it. Very simple. I know that I absolutely love it. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this skirt. So, and you can do so many variations of this. Um, you can use a jersey, uh, jersey material, scrap material that you have. Um, you can also use um, uh, tea dyed doilies and put uh, crochet doilies along the bottom. There's so many possibilities. But this is just one way to take one of those really short skirts and make it a more comfortable length um, that you would wear. So I know I definitely am going to wear this. So this is Amy of Fashion Toppings. Until next time, happy thrifting.